Hi, we're here at the HPE booth at the Hanover Messe, and I'm here with Matthias Russe. You're the chief technologist for manufacturing from automotive and IoT. And if we talk about technology, and especially technology for the good, what are you showing over here? Well, we thought we would like to basically do something good, not just take a couple of giveaways and give it to the people. We thought we were really doing something good, and so we partnered with SolarAid. So what we're basically doing here is we have a whole production line set up here with a couple of different stages. And we're basically, with the help of our friend Yumi here, uh, we're basically assembling uh, solar lights and we send them to the Solar Aid Initiative, uh, which we're doing something good in Africa. So that's basically what we're doing, just the idea of putting charity together with our industrial interests. It's always good to, to combine this. Uh, so if we talk about IoT, companies are already really talking for a long time about the possibilities to create new business models. You can measure everything. If you can measure everything, you can define different kinds of models. Absolutely. What type of new models are you coming with? Well, I, I'm not sure if it really come with, with something new. So we're basically taking models from probably some other industries and take it into the industrial sector. So what we see here is, is basically a robot from ABB and, and we're currently, let's say, starting an initiative with them, basically selling robotics as a service, which is to our understanding a completely new approach. Mm -hmm. um, and it was made possible by really connecting the systems, understanding what they're doing, understanding the usage, and sell it then, or let's say, sell the service to a customer. And what we're also thinking about is really looking into um, solutions like um, performance-based contracting, which really would mean that the customer just pays whatever he uses, how much grip he's doing, how much uh, product he's producing, and so on and so on. And that's, that's basically what we, are, what we are showing here. In addition to that, what is probably interesting, we also have a lot of approaches with some customers uh, which want to have a very fluid production. So that means that also the robot itself can be reprogrammed very fast. And that is also something which can be basically enabled by the connectivity options we have right now. And let's say in the technology domain, in the, the software technology domain, it's very obvious what the benefits are, but can you explain from a manufacturing perspective, automotive perspective, what are the benefits if you're moving to as a service model? Uh, well, I think that is, uh, that is pretty clear from, from one perspective. If you look into car production today, if you look into, uh, let's say, the production of tomorrow, that will be much more fluid. Yeah? You will have way more lot size one production, things like that. And we believe, and we already see that, we have a couple of customers where that already is in place, not with robotics, but with other material out of the OT world, where we're basically having situations that we sell with our partners OPEX to that customer instead of a big capital expense. It probably ends up at the end on a similar level, but the point is that the cash flow basically fits into more into what a manufacturer is basically uh, is basically uh, doing. So that is that is the idea of, of optimizing the cash flow on the customer side as well. All clear. And the good thing is that it also now enters into the IoT domain and becomes a reality. Absolutely. So I'm doing that job for four or five years now, and in the beginning it was kind of an endeavor and it was an adventure, and we've seen all these fancy use cases, but stuff like Yumi and things like that are really connected. We connect them to the Azure Cloud. We're using our partner PTC to show some of the condition morning, the, the basic stuff from that perspective. So this is all reality now and it, it can be bought on the, on, the, on the outside. And it is really in place in a lot of customers already. Matthias, thanks a lot for your great insights. Thanks for having me. Thank you for watching here from Hanover Messe from the HPE booth. Enjoy this video? Don't forget to like, subscribe, share and get notifications of my new video.